spot, it sank at either crease, and motor vans and baker's carts at times disturbed the peace. The bowlers found it hard to hit the lamppost's slender stem. The broader wicket opposite was cleared at 6 p.m. It was a keen, determined school, unorthodox and free. Harsh circumstance oft made the rule and not the MCC. The scorer, seated by the well, kept up a fire of talk. He was both umpires, crowd and all, and plied a busy chalk. So, standing musing on the scene, I let the moments pass. How well he drove it to the screen, and then the crash of glass. I watched the players as they ran, and heard while yet they fled. The loud voice of an angry man, the law's majestic tread.